Okay, I'll ask if everyone is um is ready. The first five checks, and then I'll give the go ahead in, in Discord. Oh. So we're just waiting on C nothing, to give. I do. Gonna get this you shuffle your deck. To give the go ahead. I'm sorry. I would, should probably shuffle that deck thing. We're gonna have Lulu yeah, versus. I, I was gonna draw three of the same card and get really disappointed. Lulu versus Jessa, guys. Alright, you ready to roll? No, this is discard. We're waiting for uh, Eric to confirm that everyone's first five is protected. This court's a bit loud. There we go. So, I need C to verify that he's checked first five. All right, guys, go ahead. Good luck. Good luck. All right, let's do it. All right. One. First, you're gone. <laughs> Okay, so I have four. All well, right, here we go, uh, guys. Go first or this is going to be uh, we'll go round um, round two of the losers bracket. C is covering round as uh, the semifinals for the winners bracket. Um, we'll see what happens um, after this game. We'll actually only have one match going on at the same time, so C and I will be able to combine forces I'm going to, uh, into uh, a single casting team. So you guys won't have to pick between the two of us. I know personally I would go watch the semifinals myself. So I hope you guys enjoy this game just as much. Um, you can watch all the games. Um, they'll be rec they're being recorded. You'll watch them all on YouTube later. Uh, with, that, with the exception of a select few that um, we weren't able to record. So for example, this, the other losers bracket match going on right now is not being recorded. But you'll get to see the winner of that match play on the next uh, on the stream. All right, next. and your turn. So I guess Tim's going first, and oh, and Tim um, Tim played Hammer Knight. He meditated and played a Hammer Knight. That's his uh, bread and butter. He's we seen this do we seen him do this uh, the first two games of the tournament. The first two rounds, we saw him drop a Hammer Knight. And uh, deal with whatever his opponent puts out to get that that easy four damage in. I will play. In. Ben plays an iron worker. Ice trap. Okay. And Tim responds with ice trap. We're flying. There we go. Elects not to scream. Any sides? Uh. No sides. <laughs> Losers bracket didn't get recorded. That's funny, yeah. loser. So one of the participants likes to go by the name of loser, and they they made a pun. They said uh, if you go into the, host the losers menu, bracket didn't get recorded with the, the three for the. Oh. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. But. Yeah. Well, coming in with the hammer knight, unsurprisingly. Yeah. So Tim, Tim ice traps. Uh, yeah, that would have been a good match to record, loser, because. I know you guys both played super aggressive deck, so it probably only lasted two rounds, and then it was over. Tim does his bread and butter move, summons a hammer knight, ice traps a blocker, swings um, in for four. Puts Lulu at 17 life. A little refresher for you guys, Lulu. 21 life, 4 battlefield, 4 spellboard, bolster, and a die. Add one to all of your units for the remainder of the turn to their attack value. Jessa. 18 life, 5 battlefield, 4 spellboard. Screams of the departed. Whenever a unit under an opponent's control leaves play, spend a die, deal 1 to their phoenix board. Ben decides to meditate, summon an EV, meditate, and is he going to spend the die? Hey, two, hit your hammer knight. Yeah, he's going to spend a die to start killing, whittling away at that hammer knight. Does not want that thing to live. 
into the next round and give him more trouble. Tim plays the Frostback Bear book. Ben plays the Summon Gilder. as a side action. Hello guys. Hi hi Darky Vady. So he plays the summon gilder. I'm guessing he's got another way to kill this hammer knight, maybe a fire archer and a gilder ping. Um or maybe he decides he doesn't want to kill the hammer knight, he wants to kill the bear. So we're playing with a community conjuration pile, guys, um, to prevent conjuration pile counting, super metagaming that Elliot was concerned about. Play violinist again. No side at all. Uh, hold on. What's so going on here? So Ben got lucky and um, met it off a violinist. So he's able to bring back a violinist. And start with two, basically. Um, gonna be a whole lot of sorrow on these songs. I don't know what dice might be tight, though. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll go ahead and send a bear at Lulu. Okay. Ooh. I will. It goes aggro. Counter. With Violinist. Violinist blocks and counters. And play... And the Widows! The Widows! That's bad news, oh, Bears. That's right, Lulu does those things. That's bad news, Bears. This is gonna hurt. So, this is gonna hurt. He can now bolster, swing in for um, eight damage. For it's, eight. Yeah, he's going to bolster and swing in for eight. Yep, yep. Ouch. That's what I get for not playing enough. Yeah. Oh, too many spiders. I don't know what's going on. They accidentally copy paste. There you go. So. Damn. Damage. Um, don't forget to uh, put an exhaustion token on exhaustion the thing. Token. On the what? Oh yeah, yeah Lulu, thank you. So, yeah. that hurt. That hurt. Tim puts out some in Dread Wraith book. Play. Expand and drop. Spin drops. Expand energy. Tim says responds with the wraith. He needs a blocker. He needs something to deal with Lulu's aggression. So the wraith comes out. Beautiful art by Fernanda. And get back a nature guy. There's a cool story behind this wraith too. Isaac said he's gonna cover it in uh, the next open memories on the uh, main action podcast. And it's a really good story. I've heard it from Isaac himself, and it's it's good. You gotta like it. Tim then activates expand energy and grabs a uh, nature die and gets a frog out of it. Just a lucky roll. He's going to end up playing... It doesn't matter. He's just going to play Gilder with it. Tim's got a card in hand. It's probably Fear, because um, that's when he started the last few games. Do you want one open memory as a day, loser? Uh, I mean, it would take almost that much to cover all of the content. I want an anime series. That's what I want. I think an anime series would be awesome. I'm going to attack a spider with my wraith. Also too expensive.
So, Tim swings with the Wraith. Will summon a Gilder. Yeah, I guess he's not afraid of the Gilder. Actually, stupid thing is one recover. I'll do one sheer bear. He's choosing to do one damage to the bear. So that damage he put on the Hammer Knight, um, because he didn't commit to killing it the first round, that one damage is going to be healed by the Hammer Knight's recover one. The bear has recover zero, so it won't heal at all. Um, yes. And I don't know. Wait, where did the Gilder go? The first player token. Okay. Did you, oh. no. Never mind. Never mind. So he he summoned the Gilder. I just missed it, guys. He summoned the Gilder. Um, and Tim feared the Gilder. So, end result is no Gilder and one damage. That's right. So Tim didn't care about the Gilder because the Gilder was going to get feared. And he decided not to show his hand. He decided, I'm going to attack with his Wraith at this spider. Maybe maybe he'll let me hit the spider because he thinks I can't do anything to the Gilder. Then he fears the Gilder. It was a good... It was a, good, it was a clever ploy. Um... And there's still things like that in the game where you can um, kind of trick your opponent, not trick them, but bait your opponent to doing things. Like there, it would have succeeded if he um, had got to kill that spider, because he doesn't want he doesn't want Ben to have three units on the board and be able to bolster in now, because if he bolsters in with these guys, he's there's that's eight damage total he can hit with. Um, Honestly, though, Tim could just swing back with 7 plus another 4, probably. He could probably swing back with 11, so it's not like Ben can afford a bolster right now. Looks like Ben's going to play Phoenix Barrage. Yeah, so that's you lose unique card. It's going to Phoenix Barrage. Deal 2 damage directly to, to Tim. And... Four damage to a unit. Uh, so I uh, probably gonna kill the hammer knight. Uh, Phoenix barrage on the hammer knight, and then yeah. two damage to Jessica. It kills the hammer knight. Deals two damage. That's good. Cleans it up. Okay. I'm going to. He's gonna meditate. Power. From the charm. I wonder if he's got another guild. Oh, well, he had a heart already. I guess he's going to try to buff something. He's going to spend the die to trigger the chain of violent stability to put a wound on the bear. If you're talking, it's not coming through. Right. Yeah. I'm going to choke. Choke the EV. Ooh. Right. So he uh, choked your ability. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still pay. You still pay the one. Yeah. Okay. Um. So he. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna go turn off the chat and the other one, so I can just talk through here. He he paid one to try to use a violinist ping on the bear and kill it, and Tim ended up choking that ability. Um, there we go. Is that better? Stops the violinist from being uh, able yes. to. Um, Alright, uh, so that was my main and my side, so it is back to you. Trigger. So he doesn't, then result, he doesn't do a damage. And since the one die here is a cost, not a, um, not an effect of this ability, he still loses the die. I think a lot is going to be at least four. So Tim chokes the EV, but then he meditates anyway. Um... I don't know if he's realized that. Maybe he's got another choke. Ben can trigger off of those meditations now. If he remembers. And from my main. Um. And Ben is... I don't know where Ben is. I think I'm just getting a little fair. Ben could have triggered there. 
chose not to. Maybe he wants to spend those dice on something. Maybe he just figures he'll get it with the Gilder. Sorry, I forgot I had push to talk now. I was going to play an Ironworker for my main action, but then I meditated once with my violinist. I'm going to kill the bear. So he plays Ironworker. He spent the die that he meditated. I guess he... I'm going to react myself. Kills the bear. Over here. Uh, final Cry. I'm going to play Final I'm Cry. Pointing it at yet. Um, if he wants to kill... I believe... The Ironworker or not. No, I'm gonna point at the. Yeah, I'm gonna point at the iron worker. All right. Kills the iron worker. Does he pay for screams? Decides not to pay for screams. All right. So that was your main inside. I'm gonna screams actually too. There you go. Get that damage in. That's the reason to play Jessa, is so that you can get the that free damage in with Screams of the Departed. Uh, you're, if you're talking, I, you're not pushing. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. You're going to scream at me, so I took the one. Alright, so are you done? Got a uh, game, Oh no, it's my, it's my turn now. I'm sorry, I was... No, that was your main and your, your side. My final side. Oh yeah, that was my main and my side. Yep. That was my main and my side. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Got some confusion here. And I believe you already summoned a bear this turn, correct? But not a wraith. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Silly books and tabletop simulator are making white things look white. <laughs> um. I'm gonna side action kill a spider. And the screams that as well. Kills when it dies, I will play another yeah. sleeping widows. Oh. You only get one though. You only get one. Yeah. So he screams the spider, it pings the spider, screams it. The sleeping from hand. He plays Sleeping Widows from hand. Yeah, sorry. Anyway. Because of the timing structure and ashes, guys, he can't. He doesn't get two Widows like he's supposed to. 13, that was my side. Because <laughs> Little's Battlefield is four, and this triggers on destruction, but destruction is not when a unit gets removed. So he had three on his battlefield. He played Widows. Technically, he still had a dead body of a spider here. So that slot was filled. So he could only fill up one more slot with a spider. That's why he only gets one spider from this summon. He has yet to use the Gilder book. Oh no, he used it last round, never mind. But he's yet to use it this round. It's probably what that last frog dies for. We have Bear, Bomber, Wraith. So he was saving, Tim was saving the those two dice for the bomber and I think I think he's going to try to go for an EV with that last ceremonial or he has another final cry sorry I'm just trying to decide how I want to handle this detonate is a problem for Lulu right now the bomber is a fantastic play because the bomber has detonate 3 so Tim can side action is there if I take a look at your discard Detonate, kill all the spiders, and ping the EV for one. Um, he actually should have been able to do that last turn. He could have played this bomber and detonated. He's electing not to because I think he wants to attack with it this round. And um, clean up. I think he wants to attack with it this round instead. Everything there only doesn't deal that much damage. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, 
yeah, the detonate is going to stop a lot of stuff. Maybe he's trying to bait this attack. He plays the bomb. Yeah, Alright, I'm going to bolster and attack. With yeah, me. he wants to force Ben to bolster attack. He says, if you don't do this, I'm, I'm going to detonate and kill all your things. This is what Tim wants, actually. Tim wants to be able to decide how he's going to take this damage. So they all plus one? Lulu's forcing uh, them. Yes, they're all plus one, so it's forcing two, three, three. Lulu is uh, forcing Ben to attack with everything because of the way Bolster works. Um, he could have kept the EV, to be honest. He could have just swung with the spiders. Tim, but he's, gonna, he's going for blood. He wants to get within burn range so he can kill him. Close out the game. 13. Tim's gonna block with a Dread Wraith. If he blocks with a Dread Wraith, a spider, the Dread Wraith becomes a monster. You have to block at least at least one of them. Yeah, uh, uh, yep, yep. The Dread Wraith becomes a monster with four attack. I would not block with the bomber personally. I would block with the Wraith. I would block the EV with the bear. No counter. And then I would take three damage from the spiders. That puts me at five life. I have a bear, a bomber, and a four attack Wraith to swing back at. That's ten damage. That's three life for Lulu. That means next turn I can, um, that means next turn I can side action detonate, kill two spiders, pay for screams, and then you still need one more damage, but you pretty much are going to close out the game. Yeah, I think you just take three and put yourself at five. He's trying to debate whether he wants to take the risk. He doesn't know. He goes first next. If he didn't go first, it'd be risky, but I think at this point... Yeah, I think you block a spider with the wraith, wraith, block the EV with the bear, swing no counter on both of them, back. Man, this game is awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of little things like that in Ashes, guys. So, my favorite thing in Magic was how you attack and block and all of the mind games and the positioning and everything that goes into that. And that's in Ashes, like, times two because of the way exhaustion tokens work. Um, and the way attacking works. It's, it's like, takes it to another level. Um, Sorry, this is hard. It's very chess-like. Yeah, no problem. I, you know, at the very least, I'm going to be doing... Yeah, that's the obvious one. A uh, block no counter here. He can't take... That's step one. I assume the order of resolution doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, Honestly, the best thing Tim can do... Me. Yes, yeah. A then swing no back. Counter. And then next turn, if, you, if he has Final Cry, he can detonate... Uh, at the start of the next round, he can detonate, kill two spiders, double screams, and final cry off of his bomber dying. And that's it. Yeah. Ben shouldn't have swung with everything. Should have kept the EV. Even if he kept the EV... Hmm, even if he kept the EV, it's not great. I think, I think you don't bolster. I think you summon a Gilder, and you ping a bomber, right? What would I, so let's go back in time. Let's think through this. What, what if Ben had decided not to attack in? He decided to summon a Gilder and ping the bomber for one. What, uh, what so does you him take do? take the three from the other widow? Tim um, probably uh, detonates, kills two widows, and um, um. does a wound to the Gilder or the EV. And then he's just got a bear and a wraith. Not a great position for him either. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have the bear counter. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And um He thinks that it's better to kill the EV. Maybe that's maybe that's the right move. I don't know what's in his hand. Maybe he has a fear in hand and he yeah, wants I to will just indeed take that three. He just wants to All right. clear the board. That was an interesting choice, so we'll see what he's got in hand. He elected to counter with the bear instead of that deal with back. So he can swing in for 7 damage now. Um, that leaves Ben at 6 life. 
Anyway, so you have expand energy, that's gonna take a little time. And I go first next round. Yeah, I w I would have probably Perfect. personally mm -hmm. not countered with the bear. Let the Eevee live and just hit him hit him back for, for ten. I wonder if he has a final cry in hand. Because another thing he can do is he can uh He's got an EV in his discard, he can bring back EV, play it, and swing for eight. He takes the damage, puts him at four. But he does swing for eight. And next round he can detonate. And uh pulls out the game. Okay, oh, yeah, I have to uh at the side action bomber now. No, why would you? Um, All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Well, and maybe he's afraid of final cries. Starters. All right. I'm also gonna final cry you. And he wants to trigger his own final cry. Yeah, he would have won, I'm guys. Another one on my wraith. He'll still have two health left. He would have won if he um. So he had final cry. Yeah, that's fine. Had he not countered with the bear, swung with everything, said, "Go ahead." And then I attack you for five with uh, this next turn. Detonate, oh, the, detonate the bomber, trigger final cry, trigger double oh, screams. Wherever. I put them over here. Okay, I can do that too. Yeah, he Alright, my turn. He could have won turn yep. one round energy. round three. Rolling nature die, shocker. Oh he's and got the I'm I'm an I'm an idiot. So no, no, I think that would have been still the right play. I'll summon a gilder, and I'll kill off the bear. Actually, hold on. How much HP does that ray have? It, it, it would have one left. Oh yeah, no. Well, I still think I still think the play was. I'm gonna be really sad if that is a fear in your hand. Let's swing with everything. Oh, the fear! Uh, all right. Game. He can just swing in. I guess it's it's Good game. it's you know it's the same. Maybe he was afraid of a choke. So I was wrong. Yeah, we should, we should probably at least draw our hands and make okay, sure you yeah. don't find like tricks. I was wrong, guys. Um, I mean, I'm, the way well, Tim I mean, played it, I guess, was actually the if better you were way. In sympathy pain range, that would be a concern, but I suppose yeah, I'm used I, to I, don't, I don't really points. know what exists, but maybe exists. something exists. Uh, unless you just want to um, see now. Guys, I was wrong. I I'm take sure it back. We're, we're not in a hurry. Um, what's the sound? Um, he he did it right. Tim played it perfectly, actually. Okay. Um. The reason you template it perfectly is because there is a there's a chance. Actually, at the way I, he chooses what happens first, right? So I couldn't uh, kill the wraith before it damaged me with sympathy pain. Uh, oh, the damage would have already uh, been no, assigned. because the damage would have been assigned. You could kill the wraith, but you're still going to take the three damage or the the five damage from the wraith. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just do three damage to you anyway to make it a closer game. Blood count. Blood count. <laughs> All right. Good game. Good game. Yeah. Guys. Good game. Um, I was really. Sad when you put out that bomber, it's kind of screwed. There was a risk. Yeah, I was trying to life. figure out. There was a risk that Tim, uh, that Ben could have had a choke. So um, Tim played around that. If Ben had a choke, then what could have happened is uh, Tim could have uh, tried to do what I suggested, where he detonates the bomber to get this, the um, the screams damage in, and uh, Ben could have said choke. And that would have been that. I so he yeah, he loses his way of um of getting that 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 damage in and winning. Instead, Tim elected to kill off all of Ben's units and go um or kill off his his uh, violinist and go for the wraith buff with the um, bomber detonation. Buff his wraith some more. Swing in for five, and then um, final cry. And just swinging for the last, the last bit of damage. So, uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and report this event. I'm gonna stop recording on the stream.